Howdy everyone in YouTube land, this is your boy Tickle Beagle back again with another rant style video and today we're going to be talking about a bit of a sensitive topic so a bit of a trigger warning if you don't like sexual assault or incest or cannibalism if any of that sets you off or just gory and explicit content in general sets you off I would suggest uh, clicking off this video and maybe go watching some of my others I think you might like them if you like rant content however I want to talk about how the series of Has Been Hotel and the Coffin of Andy and Lele, the game, both handle, uh, like, explicit content, and how one handles it correctly, and how the other handles it fucking horribly. The one that handles it horribly is the Coffin of Andy and Lele, and the one that handles it correctly is Hell of a Boss, not Hell of a Boss, Has Been Hotel. I always get those mixed up because they have H's at the beginning of their name, uh, ADHD thing. Anyways, uh, you may say, well, how does one differ from the other? Well, if you don't know the Coffin of Andy and Lele, has a whole path you could take where you fuck your sibling. It's incest. There's also cannibalism, but that... No, that I won't bring that up as well, actually, because the more I think about it, the more that sounds fucked up. There's cannibalism and mass murder and manipulation. There's also Has Been Hotel. Sorry, it took me a while to compose myself there. Uh, but Has Been Hotel has a lot of explicit content in it. However, it handles it much better in my opinion specifically the episode i'm going to talk about is episode four where it talks about sexual assault drugging addiction and just a bunch of other uh shit involving that such as literally being owned as a sex slave to someone but you know that's a bit less broad but uh yeah so you may say how does one handle it better well in my opinion the coffin of andy and lele pretty much the entire time you're doing the incest route does nothing to make it seem like a bad thing. Like, I know the maker of it does not support incest. Don't get me wrong, I'm not like a fucking psychotic Twitter user on Elon Musk's dick talking about, like, he's a disgusting person. Like, at the end of the day, I know he wasn't trying to, but in the game, I understand it's more complex than this, okay? Before you start fucking making paragraphs in the comments, I understand the coffee and Andy Lele is more than just incest. It's also cannibalism and other shit. However, it does not do a lot in the game to actually show it as a bad thing. It may say, well, everyone's obviously going to know it's a bad thing. Well, yeah, because it's portrayed badly. Like, that's the point. We have to portray it badly so that generations of the future know that it's a bad fucking thing. You can't just expect them to know. That's uh, my problem. I don't think the game is garbage. I generally think it has good things in it. But its portrayal of shit like incest is not very good because like i said it pretty much glorifies it because well it doesn't do something outwardly to show it as a good thing it doesn't do anything to outwardly show it as a bad thing either i mean there's the manipulation of the main female the main male character sorry however that's in every single one of the endings so it just really doesn't hit as hard as it realistically should I think there definitely should have been, like, maybe it's, like, you should have been worse off or the ending should have been way worse for doing something like intense amounts of cannibalism or uh, incest or any of the shit like that because it is gross shit and that would also allow you to show it as a bad thing and as a terrible thing that it is. And it would, it would become a lot more interesting. However, they don't really show that in the game, if I'm being honest. And once again, I'll say it again, I know the game is not just incest and cannibalism. I know it has character arcs, it has interesting parts of it, however, it still stands that that is a huge flaw of the game. Now, why do I bring up Has Been Hotel doing it better? Because it shows the shit that's happening is a bad thing. Like, the difference is, we get to see the abused. We get to see the abused and how it affects them, and while Valentino sure gets pleasure off of the shit he's done to angel dust we get to see what negative consequences it has for people for angel dust and the people around him and angel dust's life it's fucking amazing especially when you look at the art direction here i mean valentino is literally always shown to be over angel dust or bigger than angel dust i mean he has literal moth fumes that make angel dust want to fuck him basically that's the point he can exude these toxic fumes that are shown to be poison basically and when the hasman hotel music video at it came out like they're shown to be very strong and it pretty much represents like the allure 
that abuse has because like yeah it's an abusive relationship but you don't acknowledge it you don't see it you still want to stay and that's kind of how abusive relationship works in real life they ab they absolutely still do know that it's toxic and it hurts them however they constantly choose to ignore it out of some form of love and like nervousness about what people will think of you or what this person will think of you if you break up with them or stop hanging out with them even though you shouldn't care about the negative opinions on that like that's just how it works whereas the coffin of Andy and Lele shows it as pretty much nothing but something that allows you to get thrill and happiness without any of the consequence that comes with it and I think you can evidence that with the fact that when the Hasman Hotel episode 4 came out you didn't see everyone in Twitter whining about how it supports sexual assault but you did see people saying that andy the coffin of andy and lele supports incest and cannibalism why because it doesn't show it as a negative thing i mean like even when you get to the end of the game it isn't outwardly negative honestly i mean maybe you could prove me wrong on that maybe you need to read more into it but still at the surface level it even at a bit of a deeper level after i tried analyzing it it doesn't seem to show negatives it really doesn't i want to reiterate again do not try and go after the uh, maker of the coffin of andy and lele do not say that anyone who plays is, plays it is a piece of shit who deserves to die i mean no they don't absolutely not and i will say this disturbing content should be allowed in media i know a lot of people who are victims of rape and sexual assault have stated they want it to be more represented and more shown correctly However, you should show it as a negative thing naturally, not as a positive thing that you need to spend like hours upon hours dissecting to prove that it's bad. It should be surface levelly not a good thing. You may say that's not complex, I say that's just as complex as it needs to be there. The complexity comes in how it's bad, how you show it's bad. The complexity should not be the fact that it's bad at all. That's my opinion. I do also want to say, if you support the Coffin of Andy and Lele, I'm not saying you're a bad person at all, either. You're allowed to consume what you like, and if you think there is a deeper meaning behind it, if you think it really isn't showing off a glorification of these things like cannibalism and incest, then absolutely, you're entitled to that opinion, and you're allowed to talk about that in the comments. I'm not saying you can't, I'm stating what I believe. And the reason I'm stating this is because I know for a matter of fact that just bringing up the cough of Andy and Lele was hard for me to do. Like, I've had this video in the back of my mind for a couple weeks. However, it was hard for me to want to do because every single time someone talks about it, whether in YouTube, Twitter, or something else, it always ends up with them getting hate comments no matter what they do. They support the game, they're a piece of shit. They like they like the game or they hate the game, they're a piece of shit. They're neutral on the game, they're a piece of shit for not picking a side for some reason. It's all sorts of fucked up. And I really wish that wasn't the way it was. Yes, I believe some opinions are disturbing. Like the like if someone said, Yeah, my opinion is that women should stay in the kitchen, or my opinion is that gay people should die. Those aren't opinions, those are prejudices. Which is kind of what Twitter has, if I'm being honest. It it is an opinion, but it comes across more as a prejudice because they witch hunt and they do terrible, terrible fucking things. Yeah, I mean, it was like this before Elon Musk, but I think he just worsened the situation, if I'm being honest. Uh, that's a whole nother video to talk about. But back on the topic of that, uh, I also want to talk about Hasbid Hotel and the fact that a lot of people seem to misinterpret the show as just violence for violence sake disturbing for disturbing sake when you actually watch it every single time someone picks up hasbud hotel they watch it and they go wow that was really good why do people hate on it and people hate on it because they don't like that the dialogue has a bunch of cursing which by the way it tones that down by episode fucking three so you're whining about the first two episodes in a show that's still airing. Stop whining, you fucking assholes. It's the same thing with Coffin of Andy and Lele. I will see people bitch and moan about the incest after watching about five minutes of the game without taking the time to genuinely look at the actual good parts of the game and fucking play the whole thing. Yes, I think it did not show incest or cannibalism in the light that it should have. Do I think it's garbage? No. Do I think the creator should kill himself? No. Do I think he should have been doxxed? No. Absolutely 
not. That is ridiculous. However, this also brings up the fact that while no matter what, if you include disturbing content in your media, it will end up getting a lot of hate. However, if you never include disturbing content in your media, not only were the people who went through that disturbing type of shit get not represented at all, however, if you don't represent it in good or bad light, pe there's a lot more people that could end up getting the idea that, oh, let's try it out, I wonder why this was bad. You see the problem there. And you may say, no, it wouldn't. Why do you think we teach about people like Hitler in our history books? Because when Hitler first appeared, and people didn't know about dictators at the time very well. They just thought, oh, that's fine, it's nothing. But now that we know about him, it's actually a bit easier for us to realize what a dictator is rising up. Such as someone like Putin. I heard people talking about him being a dictator long, long before all the crazy shit with Ukraine popped up. And honestly, that's good. That shows growth. That shows that we have knowledge thanks to knowing about people like Hitler. Because we know the signs to look for in this shit now. And that's the point. We should show disturbing content. We should see these disgusting things. However, we should see how to prevent them, the signs, how to stop them. That is why disturbing content should be allowed. As well as the other uh, reason it should be allowed is it gives people who went through things like sexual assault, manipulation, uh, sometimes enslavement, uh, some form of like rapport getting to see representation for themselves on the screen i don't think all representation is good a lot of the time it's just because big business ceos want to puff out their chest and say look we're inclusive which is most of the time what the lgbtq shit is like i'm lgbtq i support it but i don't support the companies that say they support us because i know for a matter of fact that's complete and utter bullshit uh but anyways uh, before i get off track that's basically my thoughts on disturbing content and Ian Lele, as well as Has Been Hotel. I might do a full video on Has Been Hotel because it's got a lot of scenes that I would like to dissect. It's got a lot of themes that I really would like to talk about. Like, I find the show really fascinating. Like, sure, there are some characters who cuss a lot and there is a lot of profanity. But once again, it tones down by the third episode and gets really good by the fourth and fifth episodes. And the sixth episode having just released, I'm definitely going to be watching that, checking it out. And also, I hope you do check it out and check out the coffin of Andy and Lele, by the way, as well. Play it if you can, you know, because the art is really good. The creator, from what I've seen, is is an OK guy. I wouldn't like be friends with him, but, you know, I wouldn't hate him. Uh, but yeah, just remember that it doesn't exactly portray things like incest or cannibalism very well. And I do hope to see you all in another video. Bye bye.